Hello everyone and happy Transfer Tuesday. If you are new here, my name is Layla and I did want to start off by explaining a little bit of my current situation because each video I get questions. So I think from now on I'm also going to put like a little frequently asked question in the description box because I get a lot of the same ones, which is perfectly okay and I expect that because not everybody because not everybody has been here for, you know, a year or so. so currently, the only debt that I have are my student loans, which is a little bit over $36,000. And I have not been actively paying on those student loans because they are in forbearance. They are at 0% interest until the end of September 2021. So for the time being, I have been saving that money in my M1 spend account, which, which is earning an interest rate of of 1% APY at the moment. So that's where I'm saving it. And then come September, I will make a lump sum payment if necessary. We will see what happens with student loans and, and I'll make an actual decision then. The reason I do this is it allows a little bit of money to grow in that M1 spend account. The 1% APY is a little bit of money each month. And also we don't know what's gonna happen with student loans. So maybe Biden will allow us to forgive 10,000 of student loan debt and that would bring down my debt pretty significantly. So by then I could see how much I have and if I even need to use it all, which is why I am doing this. Now, Transfer Tuesday was created by Mary from Penny's Not Perfection, the YouTube channel, Penny's Not Perfection. I can link her down below. And basically all it is is you transfer any amount that you can for your money goals. So this may be paying off debt, this may be saving, this may be investing, whatever it is, even if it's $1, $5, $5,000, we do this every Tuesday. She has created quite a big community for Transfer Tuesdays and it's honestly super fun and motivating because you're making progress every single week and it just makes you feel better mentally plus it does help your finances overall. For me today, I'm actually just gonna be saving for my debt. Actually, I'm gonna pay down actual debt today. The reason for this is because if you watched last week's Transfer Tuesday, I messed up the number, I, I think I said I had $36,249 of student loan debt, but it's 239 and I want that number to be even. <laughs> so I'm gonna pay actual debt today of $239.14 to bring my student loan debt to an even 36,000. So I'm already pulled up in Navient, which is my loan provider, and we are going to do loan 1-07 and obviously right now everything is at zero percent but this loan specifically i have seven total loans left and this loan specifically had the highest interest rate before everything went into forbearance so I'm sure if you can see that right here so i'm going to put 239.14 just to this one which has a total of four thousand seven hundred seventy eight dollars and 98 cents all right so there goes that I'll put up a screenshot of what I just did. So that does show as pending. And if you, let's go back to last week. Last week, my total savings for my student loans was at $1,035.77. And now I'm also going to save $10 toward this so that I can get my savings or payment to my student loans of over $600 for the month of March. When I just paid that $239.14, that brought my total savings and payment to $597.09 for March, and my goal was 600. So I'm just gonna add 10. Let me do that, deposit. So that means I crossed my goal of saving over 600. And the thing is, I haven't even received my federal tax refund yet. So I'm still getting like 380, I think from, from federal and I haven't received that. So my money will go even further next month, which is very exciting. And now let me calculate what my total debt would actually be at. So in my savings, I now have $1,045 and 77 cents. And this is why I wanted to round it out. So I now only have $36,000 of debt. Oh, that's crazy. That's so exciting. I know I only paid like $200, but like it feels good. I, don't, I just got more excited for some reason and it's nice to just see a lower amount, you know? So if we were to subtract what I have saved from that 36,000, that would leave me with $34,954.23 of student loan debt left. And this is a new milestone for me because we are officially under 35,000 total, 
which it hasn't gone below that in, you know, it hasn't hit a new little milestone in several weeks. So that is very exciting. I'm not sure, honestly, today is the second to last day of March. And so I will get paid tomorrow, which is one of the main reasons why I'm doing this too. Because honestly, after I'm, you know, I have a couple of charges on my credit cards just from uh, like groceries recently, I always pay them right away, but like they have to process first. So after I pay those and then making today's transfers, my checking account goes really, really low, which I do that every month. I have like a, basically a zero base budget, but honestly, I'm not sure how that happened because when I look at my budget that I have laid out, technically it shouldn't have worked out like that somewhere. I, I think from last month, I must have not zeroed it out. I must have had money left over. And so somehow this is showing I would technically be several hundred negative, but that's not the case right now. So I am done for the month of March. The last transfer Tuesday is also the end of my transfers for the month. And I am just really excited that I actually hit my goal. Somehow it worked out, but that seems to always be the case. Like if the, the more you just let go of things and not like attach to needing to do something, it, it just happens. I don't know, because remember I was saying, I don't know how I'm gonna pay $600. Like, I guess I kind of, I was possibly expecting a tax refund, but I had no clue. And also I didn't receive all of that. I made a $2,000 purchase. So most of it, I didn't even like with the stimulus check and all that, I didn't expect that per se. And it just worked out. You know, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but I, I don't know how it works, but it did. And that's what I'm kind of just going through with all of this is trusting the process and each time I go through these things and I'm like, oh, somehow, some way I'm gonna make a thousand dollars or I'm gonna pay off this much debt and it happens. And so each time it does happen, it's proving to myself that it is possible. And that's why I feel like I will be able to pay off all of my debt this year, even though I'm technically behind on track with that, but I don't, it doesn't matter. Like it's not gonna hold me back from anything. I still made a big purchase. I still made, I went over budget in a lot of things this month and I'm not gonna like stress about it because I know I'm just trusting the process. I know this is gonna work out. I guess this week was a little bit more exciting than usual because I paid actual debt down, which is very nice. And it does make me feel a little bit better to actually, to actually be paying it down. And the other, the main thing I've been focusing on now is my net worth because I'm not paying down debt actively. It is not as satisfying. I've said this many times before, but it is very nice to watch my savings grow. And obviously in correlation to that, my net worth is increasing. I've realized that shifting my, my focus from my debt to my net worth is actually very helpful in this process. If you are somebody who's also just with, left with their student loan debt and they're, you're saving for it right now, then be sure to track your net worth. And, and I do have a template for tracking your net worth. So I can link that down below. It's related to all the templates that I've been sharing in recent videos. So that is very helpful, do recommend. I did not have any referrals go through in regards to investments. So that's all I have for this week's Transfer Tuesday. Please comment down below what you are doing today. And I hope you all had a really great month of March and are excited for April because I know I am. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.